causing a lot of problems for communities along the Southwest Freeway corridor. Yeah, we're going to send it over to Haley Hernandez. She's live in Stafford 59 and West Belfort. How's it looking out there? Hang on one second. Yeah, guys, hey, I'm, I'm actually just talking to somebody who says that his car is broken down at that McDonald's over there because the flooding came in uh, so quickly last night. Is that right? Uh, morning is at the city. At the city of Ah, uh, gotcha. So, guys, what we're looking at is uh, Belfort at 59. Now, we were on our way to Greens Bayou, but we stopped here. We are now um, just about a block away from Keegan's Bayou. And we stopped here because you might remember that several months ago, this is where that Metro bus got flooded right as we pulled up. Look at what pulled up behind us. This Metro bus, they immediately put their flashers on. They are not going through this water. Now I can tell you, <clears throat> since we have been here, we have seen several cars start to flood out. Caesar, you're panning over to this parking lot over here. We can see two cars in that parking lot. I think what's happening is the feeder is not flooded. So people are going from the feeder and they're either trying to turn onto West Belfort like these cars over here, or they're trying to pull into this into this parking lot and you can see that in this parking lot we've got two vans that are flooded out there's a family in one of them i think you can see them getting out right now other cars they're trying to reverse out of this water but since we've been here we've seen at least one car get towed away and then there's been two other tow trucks um hovering around this area because there are several more cars all the way down Belfort, down that way that we know are flooded out. And we are waiting for those to get pulled out or to see if anybody's in them. Caesar, can you see if anybody's in those cars? Sorry, he can see a little bit better when he can zoom in with his camera. It's a little dark for me. <clears throat> but you'll see there's going to be cars passing in front of the camera right now because, as I was mentioning, the feeder roads are open. There is no flooding here, but people are taking the turn from the feeder road rather quickly onto Belfort, and that's where they're running into problems because you can see it is completely underwater right now. So um, we are trying to talk to people, trying to f find out if there's any more people down there that need to get out of this water. Take a look over here, Caesar. See this pickup truck right here. He stopped just inches away from that water. Up oh, there he goes in reverse. So that's what you're going to have to do. I would just avoid this area for a little while. Um, we're going to be getting all the information we can and we'll bring it back to you here on air and online. For now, I'm reporting live. Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News. All right.